everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. In this week's video, I'm going to take you along on how I prep for my son's third birthday. It is circus themed or carnival themed as you see behind me. This is a backdrop that I got from Amazon. I'm so excited. Uh, a third birthday for um, boys in the Jewish tradition and for girls actually is very symbolic for like a rite of passage from babyhood to like a big boy or a big girl status. We've actually done this for all of my kids, boys and girls. Traditionally, it means there's a lot of biblical meaning to it, but I don't want to go into that. It's just very cute. Uh, the boys get their very first haircut. My girls also got their very first haircut after three years old. Uh, the boys get their first kippah that they wear and tzitzit, which are like um, garments that Jewish people wear. Um, it's very exciting. They, they, make, they feel very, very special on this day. So I always like to make it a little bit extra. A lot of people don't do it this way. It's usually very small, but I just enjoy the process. I love the prep. I love hosting and having people over in my house. So I'm gonna take you along and show you how I make everything. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have already made the cake and I'm gonna show you a clip of it right here of how I made it. Um, I'm gonna show you a clip of how I made the birthday cake. I had to look through so many YouTube videos on how to make a two-tier circus themed cake and I'm so happy with how it came out. Um, it was a lot of hard work, but it came out amazing. For those who want to know how I made the cream for this cake, I will have a video linked down below for you of a video that I made previously of how I made my Kiev cake and I followed that exact cream recipe and this is how the cake came out. Saturday night I also did a few preps I moved around some tables put this banner up with my husband uh, we got made little gift bags which I'll show you a clip of everything right here While my husband was getting the gift bags ready, I set up my whole entire tablescape. I took down all of the plates that I usually serve my guests with and I just made like a rough draft on the table of where I want to place what. I also used some sticky notes to place on top of the plates to let me know what I'll be serving in each one. It just takes the guesswork out of the you know the day that I actually have to serve everything that I know exactly where everything belongs. Now it's crunch time, it's Sunday morning, the kids just had breakfast and I have to start getting the rest of the stuff together. So I'm gonna take you along and show you everything that I'm gonna be doing and making. I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy these types of videos with party preps and organization and planning, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. With all that said, let's get into the prep. The day before the party, I take out my list of everything that I plan to make. I go through it and check off what I have already accomplished. I've already made the birthday cake and the cupcakes as well. All I have left to do for the cupcakes is the cream. And then I have a look the night before what I can do to take a little bit of the load off of myself for the next day. So you'll see what I get done. I'm going to be throwing in some corn on the cobs to steam up. And while that's going to be going, I'm going to be making the cream for my cupcakes. Using food coloring, I mixed the cream in a few different colors, put it into some plastic wrap, cut off the end of it and placed it into a piping bag to create an assortment of colors. I used red, white, yellow, and blue for the carnival themed. I took my cupcakes, put them in the shape of a three because he is turning three years old and piped in that amazingly delicious cream right over the top of it. If anyone is interested in my cupcake recipe, I already have a video up on how I make my chocolate cake and I use the exact same recipe, just put them into a cupcake shape. And for the cream, I'm using Swiss meringue buttercream, but I did not use butter obviously because this had to all be dairy free. I substituted the butter for a dairy free alternative. 
I also had these cupcake toppers that were carnival themed that I got from Amazon and I topped each cupcake with one of those toppers. Another great thing to do ahead of time is any fruit or vegetable platter. So I already had my vegetables at home, so I decided to chop some of them up and place them on this platter. I also started prepping some of my salads. Here's a hearts of palm salad. I used one can of corn, one can of hearts of palm, red and green pepper, purple onion, some dill, salt, black pepper, and some Italian dressing. And that was it. Here I'm just preparing my Caesar salad dressing. It's mayo, mustard, some soy sauce, onion soup mix, salt, and black pepper that I mix really well. After the Caesar salad dressing is done, I'm going to be preparing my white sauce dressing. I make this a ton of times on my channel. It's mayo, water, lemon juice, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, some dried up dill, oregano, and cilantro, and I mix that really well, and those two are ready for me for tomorrow. I also put two briskets in the oven to cook on Saturday night with my favorite barbecue sauce, which is Dougie's barbecue sauce. I do have a video out on how I make them, and I will link it down below for you as well. On Sunday morning, after my kiddos had breakfast, I'm getting ready to prep the rest of my stuff and ingredients. I started off with a fruit platter and then my pickled platter. I just take Israeli pickles and olives and put them cutely into this elongated plate. I got this plate from Home Goods. I really, really love their stuff and I definitely have to go back there very soon to see what else they have. After washing my strawberries really well, I'm getting ready for my strawberry and spinach salad. My mom, God bless her, is here helping me out, helping me wash all of my greens. Um, I'm going to be using this salad spinner to drain any of the excess water so that none of my salads are soggy. After that's done, I'll place it into a plate that I have already placed a sticky on and I know exactly what salad goes where. As you can see, just remove the sticky, wipe down the plate and put the salads where they belong. I topped the salad with some sliced strawberries that I have sliced earlier, some sliced up almonds and some purple onions or red onions over the top. Then I'm moving on to the corn salad and adding in the chopped up vegetables that I've chopped up the night before, which is green and red uh, peppers, some purple onions, craisins and garlic. So as you can see, this video is moving around very quickly just because that's how it is in real life. I'm multitasking, doing a million things at the same time. And of course, I have to give my little ones some attention as well. And I do this by including them every which way into all of my prep. I love how Aviva is thoroughly enjoying her little fingers right here. I could not remove this clip. I thought this was hilarious. I actually have a clip of myself as a little girl eating and i'm licking each one of my fingers i know some of you might find it gross but i find it very very cute and i promise you she did not touch any of the food with those fingers i made her wash them we're moving right along to making some franks in blanks i used this puff pastry and some kosher hot dogs i was surprised at how many of you have commented on my previous videos thinking that i was eating pork because i was showing hot dogs Hot dogs are made out of chicken and beef and turkey. They are definitely kosher, so these are kosher hot dogs, I assure you. 
and I'll show you just how I roll them into franks. I use this large size square of puff pastry, I place the hot dog inside, roll it until it's concealed with the puff pastry and then I cut them through but not all the way and it makes for a very cute design. And like I say in so many of my videos, I do find it much more easier to include my children in my prep than shooing them away and putting them in front of a TV or a video where I don't see what they're doing. This way they're right in front of me, they're right next to me, they're learning amazing skills and it's a great bonding experience. Let me know in the comments down below, how old are your kids and do you let them cook with you in the kitchen? Here we're making a very huge bowl of guacamole. I have avocados, tomatoes, some red onion, garlic, and some cherry tomatoes. And I mix everything with a tiny bit of mayo to prevent it from browning with some salt and black pepper. I finished the franks and blanks by egg washing them and placing some sesame seeds over the top. I bake it in a 350 or 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes until they're nice and golden. At this point, most of the actual prep is done. I'm going to be setting up the table now with some pretzels and chips and crackers and setting that aside because I know they're not going to get bad and they don't need to be refrigerated. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now onto my garden salad. I'm gonna be taking some of the greens that we have washed earlier. I have some red and green pepper, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, and some red onion already sliced up from the night before. I'm gonna be placing that on top. Anything that I have extra, I will be reserving in a separate um, foil pan so that I can replenish the food when we run out. I thought it would be cute to have some marshmallow skewers so I gave my daughter that activity to do she really wanted to help out so I just told her here are some marshmallows here are some sticks and have fun putting them together here I'm making I guess a sort of charcuterie board with some dried fruit and nuts
Now that the franks and blanks are out of the oven, I'm getting ready to toast my pizza crust bread so that I can make my meat pizza on top of it. While this was all happening, our balloons arrived to decorate our party. Slowly everything is coming together and just wanted to show you the prep right before everything gets put together nicely. Here's my very handy dandy list of everything that I need to get done. I also had some popcorn over there that I placed cutely for a carnival theme. I'm going to show you our backyard as well. I have a food station out in the back. I also forgot to mention that I did not make any of the actual hot meals this time besides the briskets. We ordered uh, those hot meals out. Uh, it's important to know what you can handle when hosting and I knew that I could only handle a certain amount so I was able to um, delegate the actual meals to, to be ordered. Okay, the prep is slowly coming along as I just show you and now I'm just gonna quickly change, get all my kids changed. Um, I prepped everything over here, see all the clothes, the ties. Um, and I'll check back with you after. Now that I'm put together and ready, I'm finishing up each and every one of the salads. Here's the Caesar salad that I have mixed with my Caesar salad dressing. I placed these little croutons over the top. The garden salad came out of the fridge. I'm placing the white dressing over the top of it as well and placing everything nicely onto the table. The strawberry spinach salad is getting finished off with some balsamic dressing. It's balsamic dressing, honey, some avocado oil, salt and black pepper with a little bit of garlic. After heating up the briskets and toasting up the pizza crust, I place some barbecue sauce over the top. After that goes on the greens, I take all of the mixed greens, place it on top, add in my shredded brisket and top everything off with that white sauce that I showed you earlier and I sprinkle on some cilantro as well as these spicy pickled jalapenos. As you can tell, the tacos are getting filled as well on the side, so I love that the brisket was too full and I was able to make multiple things with it. Slowly, all the guests and family members and friends are trickling in and the birthday boy is right there greeting everyone and it's such an exciting time to see him in this transitional time when he is growing up and I just can't believe that he's already turning three. While the guests have arrived, all the kids are outside playing with the clown that we got and some bounce houses and it looked like they all had such a great time. We're actually quite lucky because my husband does bounce houses on the side, so this is why we were able to have so many bounce houses in our backyard. Now it's time to cut Hillel's hair for the very first time, and I usually give each of my boys whoever had to have their hair cut like this, I give them a lollipop so that they're nice and calm while they're having their hair cut because it is their very first time and they just have so much fun as you can tell even my kids wanted to take their turns cutting his hair not only is the birthday boy super excited to get his hair cut but as you can see so is everyone else for our clown we use freckle speckle she is the best clown in town and all of the kids loved her
there's my little man with his final haircut i still can't get used to it every time i look at him i just stare and i can't believe this is him all big and grown up Now it was time to start digging into that gorgeous cake and I am so happy to say that it was truly a hit. Everyone loved it. The top tier was chocolate, the bottom tier was vanilla and it was just absolute yum. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if anything I hope that you gained a little bit of confidence to attempt to throw your own parties at home or at least to delegate the things that you think that you totally cannot accomplish but do a few things that would mean so much to you if you would be able to do it for your kids like baking a birthday cake so i really hope that it this video gave you that confidence if you enjoyed this video i would love it if you would give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in my next upload